Live. Good evening. It's uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I uh, want to thank everybody for, for joining us this evening. I know there's people literally from all over the world because I've, I've exchanged emails with uh, several of you. Um, so we've got our friend uh, Jonathan Walker here. Um, and uh, Jonathan is... Um, He's a pen tester and, and, and an NMAP specialist, and, and the presentation that uh, Jonathan has put together this evening is called Learn How Penetration Testers Use NMAP to Exploit Their Victim's Computer. And this presentation is really a prelude to a class that uh, uh, Jonathan is offering in the next couple of days, and I'll be sending uh, more information about that after this um, uh, 15 to 20 minute hangout with all the details of what Jonathan will be teaching um, and so we wanted to give um, you know interested viewers um, a, you know, somewhat of an overview of what will be taught in that class so Jonathan thank you very much for for joining uh, us tonight and you're when you're when you're ready if you can just walk us through um, the you know the topic for tonight and ultimately what you'll be teaching in your class all right. Okay. So uh, my name's Jonathan, and uh, I'm currently pursuing my uh, network and security bachelor's degree, and I'm an expert in uh, scanning and enumeration. So in this course, I'll be going over Nmap and sort of bridging the gap between scanning and exploitation. So what this is, it'll teach you not only how to scan individual nodes and uh, multiple nodes, but it'll also teach you with that scanning information how to exploit the computer using that information you gathered from that scan. So I'm going to go over my presentation right now Perfect. and uh, show you what I have. All right, so this is Nmap, the network mapper. So what is Nmap? Nmap is a tool that runs on multiple operating systems that allow you to scan small or large networks. So I'm going to go over what I'm sort of going to teach in this class and what's it for. Now, in this picture at the top, it's uh, Trinity hacking into the matrix using Nmap. Now, after this class, you should easily be able to analyze exactly what scan she is doing, and later on, you'll sort of understand what it is. So I'm now going to introduce attack surfaces and vulnerable systems. So determining attack surface. So what is an attack surface? An attack surface is basically how many points of entry there is into a specific entity. So I'm going to draw a house right here. This is going to be our victim. So in a normal house, you just have windows and doors. And the attack surfaces would be this door here, this window here, and this window here. Because when you break into a building, you don't necessarily want to break down the wall you want to go into the points where it's at its weakest, which would be the windows and its doors. And that's sort of exactly what an attack surface is. Uh, in this lesson, or in the course that I will teach, you'll be able to determine nodes on a network. So you'll be able to scan exactly what computers are on a given network. You'll be able to determine the services running on a node, such as an FTP server or a web server. Uh, you will master the art of scanning and enumeration with Nmap and also other tools. Uh, you will find corresponding exploits for vulnerable systems. So be able, you'll be able to find what service is running and determine if that service is vulnerable to attack. You will learn firewalking techniques to determine where the firewall is and where your target is and much more. So why should you take this class? Nmap is a versatile tool that is used to precisely scan small and large networks. It's used by penetration testers and network administrators. This is such a big tool, it allows you to scan networks with a lot of accuracy and also with a lot of uh, ability to scan a lot of nodes on a network. So not only do hackers and penetration testers use this, also network administrators are known for using this tool just because it has so many options and allows to scan the way you want it to. Uh, this will give you the upper hand in understanding and ability to map networks. And this is a crucial skill in the IT field. Uh, you'll learn how hackers use this tool to determine the attack surfaces on your computer. So after this uh, course, 
you, you should be able to understand how vulnerable is your computer to attack. And also you'll be able to know what services are running on your computer, so you may be able to check if you're infected with a, uh, a botnet or something that's associated with that. Uh, I will teach you how to correspond exploits with programs or services running on the node. Uh, and I will also be showing you one of the largest hacking databases there is to be able to use Anmap scans and its output to be able to find the exploit you want to use so you can eventually take control of that computer. And at the end of this PowerPoint, I will show you exactly how that's done in a short snippet. Also, I'll include, include great documentation provided. I mean, I've spent years researching this topic, and I've got a lot of resources that I'm willing to share. And this will sort of help you not only sort of take in after the course that I will teach, and allow you to not only go from what I teach, but also beyond, because Nmap is one of the largest hacking tools out there. It's so large, I can't possibly teach it in the amount of time allotted. But I will give you the resources to be able to research it. And by the end of my course, it should be really easy to understand what the more advanced things out there. You will also learn things like common ports. Uh, I'll give you the top hacking tools and top hacker sites. So a lot of resources that will enable you to go that extra mile. So this is sort of a little taste of what is to come in my course. I'm just going to go over maybe a, a few slides that will show you what I'll teach in this course. So Nmap is a scanning tool. And what it does is it utilizes the TCP three-way handshake, which is basically a way that two computers are able to establish a connection and transfer data between one another. So what this is right here is it's three parts. You've got the SYN, you've got the SYN ACK, and you've got the ACK. The SYN says, hello, I want to connect to you. Then the server goes, OK, I acknowledge that with the ACK packet, and I also want to connect to you. And then the attacker says, OK, I want to connect to you. Now, Nmap utilizes this uh, connection to be able to do multiple different things, such as firewall evasion techniques, but it also allows to scan individual ports on a network. Uh, net networking ports. In the end of my course, you should be able to understand what are the different protocols that are out there and what's the difference between TCP and UDP. Because as you'll discover when using Nmap, scanning TCP ports and UDP ports are a little bit different in terms of difficulty. Um, uh, this is such a large tool out there, and it has so many developers developing it. They have many options that allow you to evade firewalls and intrusion detection or improve intrusion prevention systems, and the different techniques that allow you to sort of fool these sort of safety features into thinking that you're normal traffic. Now, the art of uh, making malicious traffic to appear as if it's normal traffic is called steganography. And you'll basically be learning the art of steganography, because Anmap uses uh, normal protocols on the networks in order to gather information. And you can sort of uh, time these normal packets that are sent out in a way that it doesn't look suspicious, and it will be really hard to track. So another thing that I'm going to teach which is a part of the firewall and IDS or IPS evasion techniques, is called the side channel attack. Now, this is one of my favorite attacks because it allows you to spoof your IP address and scan a certain node without giving any information out to that server. So I'm just going to go over this really quickly. <clears throat> As you can see, this utilizes the TCP three-way handshake. The SYN ACK is the second element. So you've got the SYN, you've got the SYN ACK, and you've got the ACK. So... In the TCP three-way handshake, when you want to force a connection to stop, so you've got your SYN, you've got your SYN ACK, and you've got your ACK. If they don't want to connect, it will send an ACK. It will send a RST, which is called a reset packet, instead of a uh, ACK, so it closes the connection. And if you sort of don't understand this, don't worry. I'll be going over this in my course, and you'll really have a good understanding by the time you're done. So I'm just going to go over this really quick. The attacker sends a SYN ACK over to the printer, and the printer says, 
hey, I, I, I don't want to connect to you, so I'm going to send a reset packet back with an IP identifier of 1,000. So the attacker says, all right, I've got the printer's IP address, so I'll send a SYN with the zombie IP, and the zombie is the printer right here, and the SYN is the first element of the TCP three-way handshake. So the server goes, okay, I received a SYN from what it looks like, the printer, so I'm going to send the second element, which is a SYN ACK, and the printer goes, hey, I don't want to connect you, I'm going to send a reset packet with an IP identifier of 1001. Now, to sort of make sense of this, the IP identifier incremented from the second step to the fifth step by one. And you'll see the significance of this. So after that's done, the sixth part of it would be the attacker sends a SYNAC back to the printer, and then the printer says, I don't want to connect to you. I'm going to send a reset packet with an IP identifier of 1002. Now, as you can see, they incremented from 1000, 1001, and 1002. And the significance of this would mean that if it increments to 1002, that port is open on the server. Now, if this port was closed when it sent a SYN over, this would not happen, and therefore the IP identifier would be 1000 and not 1001, and this would never occur. So this allows you to scan anonymously without even directly scanning your target. <coughs> now, this is uh, Wireshark. It's one of the most popular packet capturing software out there, and it allows you to analyze a packet, packet by packet, sort of, on the network. When information goes out on the wire, it's, it's, it's not human-readable information, sort of. It's computer information. And by the end of this course, you should understand exactly what is this. See, this is actually an Nmap scan up here. Below is normal traffic. And you've got your protocol, which is DHCP, you know, all of this. And you've got uh, your destination address and your source IP address. So these two come together. And these are just the uh, actual payload in the packet. And I will teach you in the course exactly what a payload is. You know, what are all these headers, which are right here. And you'll have a good understanding of this when you're done. And this is also a very crucial thing for a network administrator and a penetration tester to know. You should be able to analyze packets on the network. And this tool will allow you to capture packets in the air, literally. Like if you're on an unencrypted network and somebody sends over a password that's unencrypted, you'll literally be able to open this tool up and see a password on the network. I won't go exactly into that, but you'll probably know how to do it by the end of this course. So now I'm going to show you a little video on how I used Nmap to exploit a computer that is sitting right next to me. Okay. All right, Jonathan, let me just uh, tee you up, okay? All right. So this is my video, and I'm going to exploit the computer next to me using Nmap. So right here, I'm determining the nodes on a network. So this is every computer that's on my network. <coughs> so I'm sort of going over the scan. This is sped up, so that can be a lot faster. Now this is a SYN scan. It's called a stealthy SYN scan. And what I'm doing is I'm sort of isolating, and I've already found my target, so that's what I did. In this one, I use a stealthy SYN scan with a version detection scan that allows me to determine what version of program they are using. And then the last one, I just have, uh, I got what programs are running, and now I'm trying to find out what version is running on that port. So now I've got the IP address and what I've got to attack. I'm going to use my Metasploit framework to search for the exploit. So I'm searching IceCast, which was on a port on that uh, on that option. So now I'm sort of setting up the settings to be able to send a remote exploit to the computer sitting right next to me. So I'm not even touching it. I'm just using scanning information to be able to find a vulnerability on the computer and exploit it remotely. And after this course, you should easily be able to do this. I guarantee you, by the end of my course, you will know exactly how to do this. And I'm just sort of, set, sort of setting up the settings right now, and I'm exploiting the computer. 
as far as you can see in live, I've hacked into the computer now. I now have a shell into the computer, and I'm going to take a web uh, a webcam snap of me. Now this was pre-recorded, but it just takes a picture of myself using the laptop that's right next to me, and the system is now compromised. So this is just an example of how you can use Nmap in order to exploit other nodes on a network. Okay, so um, if anyone has any questions for Jonathan, if they could just send them through. Um, and as I mentioned before, we're going to be, okay, I've got a couple of questions here. Jonathan, which is your preferred penetration testing distribution? Distribution? It'd definitely be Backtrack, by far. I mean, I've used other penetration testing distributions, such as Blackbox, and I've even customized my own Linux version, but Backtrack has basically all tools in one. It's, I, I really think it's unbeatable, especially with the support and how hard it is to install drivers. It's definitely my number one penetration test and distribution by far. Okay. Backtrack R3. Backtrack. All right, so, and then I've got another question here. Can Wireshark scan a network, or is it only a tool for analyzing network traffic? Actually, it can scan a network, depending on what sort of network it is. Like if it's an unencrypted wireless LAN, you're, you're allowed to see packets in the air. So if somebody goes, say, goes through FTP to their website, you'll be able to pick up their password. And like another small trick to this is hotel passwords. They're normally unencrypted. So you can literally set a wireless card into promiscuous mode and scan the passwords in the air. So, so it's not, yeah. Okay. Um, can a network administrator identify stealth scans or know that a stealth scan has happened? Yes. In other words, is a stealth scan 100% stealth? Well, no. It, that's just sort of the name of it because it uses the SYN ACK and the, and the RST or the, so it uses certain elements of the TCP three-way handshake, but it doesn't perform the whole handshake and sort of, it used to be the case, but intrusion detection systems wouldn't sort of log the data unless that full connection was made. So nowadays it's sort of out of date, but if you use uh, extra options added on to a certain scan, you can make it stealthy, such as a timing. It's not really stealthy according to today's standards, but it was back then, and in this course I'll be able to teach you ways to make your scan stealthy. Okay, Jonathan, I want to thank you very, very much for taking the time to walk us through, um, you know, the, 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 the content that you'll be offering um, in the course and, and sharing your expertise with us. Um, I'll be sending information out to everybody after this event uh, as it relates to, to, uh, to the course and just want to thank everyone for, uh, for joining us this evening. Yeah. Thank you so, for listening. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, viewers. Yeah. Thanks. Bye-bye. You're welcome. Bye.